This is Jason Genova. I'm about to go to bed. I'm just about to explain something that about uh, when Phil Heath called out Arnold Schwarzenegger about that he didn't have any legs in his prime. Um, and his prime, that he didn't have any legs. That's not true. Arnold had very great legs in his prime. He had very big legs. Um, just a different era of bodybuilding from the uh, 70s and 80s, the golden age. Uh, I think that uh, bodybuilders are too freaky today and too bloated and way too big and out of proportion from all the stuff they're taking and all the drugs and all the supplement enhancers. Bodybuilders back in the golden age didn't take as many drugs as the pros are taking today because the pros are taking way more drug enhancers and way more different things um, to enhance their look and they're getting out of control freaky uh, like Arnold says bodybuilding uh, has become too freaky and all the bodybuilders are out of proportion out of control and all the bodybuilders uh, the golden age of bodybuilding is long gone since at least 1990 when Lee Haney left then Dorian Yates came and everybody became super freaks so you know bodybuilding's kind of you know out of proportion it's grown so big in the fitness industry over money and supplement companies and uh, all that type of stuff and uh, you know bodybuilding's not like it used to be when Arnold used to compete back in the 80s out of passion a love of the sport like when a Arnold or you know Lee Haney or Richard Gaspari or Tom Platts or all those guys used to compete for the passion and love of the sport now it's all about money and uh, supplement companies and advertisement and everybody's freaks out there, but they're just doing so much shit, HGH, a whole bunch of different, you know, stuff. You know, it's crazy, but, uh, you know, it's just out of control, all the amount of drugs they're taking. It's They're getting Columbo's, and they're getting side effects, they're getting out of control, big, big cinder block waste back in the day. When all of them used to compete, it used to be very aesthetics, like the vacuum post Frank Zane created in 1970, 78, 79. Where bodybuilders had that pleasing, very small waist, very big chest, very big legs. Like, uh, for instance, like uh, um, Mike Menzer and all those greats. Very small waist. That's gone. Um, they're getting freakier and freakier by the years. And that's my uh, intake on it. I think it's pretty messed up that Phil Heath called Arnold didn't have legs, but he did have legs in his prime. And I think it's pretty messed up that... Um, you know, bodybuilding's just over over popular now and it's getting become a freak show. Bodybuilders are becoming bloated freaks now. They're not cinder block waist, cinder block chest. Arms are freaking huge, they're sh taking a lot of crap. And it's getting out of control and they're gonna get freaky and freaky over the years and the sport, like Arnold says, the sport of bodybuilding's dead. It's they're uh I'm the last bodybuilder who's aesthetics. I create vacuum poses and all that stuff. I'm the only bodybuilder who can do the vacuum still. Me and Beast Aesthetics, um, pretty much all the bodybuilders are dead. It's just, um, it's just a bloated look now, a freaky look, and it's just out of control, um, the amount of drugs they're using and stuff like that, so. That's my intake on it, and I just think it's really unhealthy what they're doing to the body. A lot of the bodybuilders die in the 50s now because of all the crap they're taking, and, uh, you know high blood pressure and cal cholesterol problems and all that shit so you know it is what it is but you know in the end bodybuilding is you know not like it used to be back in 1970 80 90 to mid 90s it's totally dead after Dorian Yates left all the bodybuilders came super freaks like Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman and all those guys super big out of control all right peace out boy